Okay, now we're going to do a review of another classic one. This one's a little special. We're going to do a review of Tom Baker's very first story as the Doctor, Robot. Now, I was curious to see this, mostly because um, there's a review on thatguywiththeglasses.com. Uh, he just goes by Nash. He does Doctor Who reviews. Honestly, check, it, check him out. Uh, he's, he's hilarious, and he's really good at analyzing things. Quite better than I am. Um, and he uh, turned me into checking this one out because this is one of the few. Because he usually does the bad one, and this one isn't that bad, honestly. Um, it is not his best. It's not his worst. I have seen his worst. You all want me to sh review his worst now, don't you? Um, still a couple more days of the left week uh, of a week left. So if I get enough. If I get enough. You'll do it. I'm not telling you what it is either. That way I can trick you all. Anyway, this one, I don't know why, but I had I didn't have huge hopes for it, but I was really hoping it was going to be fun. I wasn't disappointed. That I'm just going to sum up the serial that way. It's a fun story. It is, however, incredibly ridiculous. Yes, even for this show. I normally don't... I normally, you know... I'm willing to send, suspend my disbelief, especially with th this show, especially with the classic era, because you got to understand it was the time, and in, in, with the amount of money they had, they even they couldn't even do impressive '70s effects. So I'm willing to forgive anything here, but seriously, the main well, let's just call him the title character, you know, the robot. Yeah, he's a little impossible to take seriously. The design looks okay until you look at the uh, look the arms, because a lot of the, a lot of the story is done from uh, uh, from his point of view. So you'll see him say, extend his arms out and like grab someone with one of his claws. It looks like the claws connected to the arm by some sort of either thin pipe or pipe cleaner, because it looks like the claws are like bending them. They look he they look extremely heavy and bend them so. That's one thing, and also there's a scene later on when they get uh, uh, when they attach a laser to it. It honestly looks like they attached. Well, in case my younger my younger viewers are not watching this, they attached a very 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 inappropriate thing to what usually could look like a walking coffee maker. I will try and find a picture. I I might even go get desperate and try and find a screenshot of it, but my computer's not that, my computer's as slow as it is, so I'm not going to try and twist the gods on that one. The thing is, there's a lot of plot here. There's a few things that really add up in these things. For one thing, we had to deal with the Doctor's Regeneration, which this story pretty much got out of the way. There was the beginning with them not completely sure if he was con if he was okay after the after what happened to him that caused him to regenerate, because they don't fully understand that his entire body heals in the process. They still think he could be ill, or even worse, his mindset may not be perfect because they may understand that his mind his a new mind along with his new body needs to be readjusted and all that. So we get some very entertaining stuff with him and Harry, who will be a new companion along here. You also get Sarah Jane and Brigadier Billy and Awesome. So you get some fun out of that. Also, the montage where he chooses his costume is hilarious. I, I don't know if it's on YouTube, but if you can, find it. It's hilarious. So we have to deal with that. Another plot is the robot itself. Since it's on a rampage, destroying things. And that leads to even bigger... That leads us to go into a couple people. The scientist... Who, and I'll try, trust me, I'll get a picture of him, who looks like what would happen if Larry from the Three Stooges went on a coke binge for about a week, and this weird this weird think tank organization, which is so generically evil, it's almost hilarious. They don't even hide it. That's the best part. And of course, there's somewhat of a, there's somewhat of a, of a subplot involving plans for a, for a high-tech laser, and that eventually gets resolved and they build it to try and defeat the goddamn robot and it just causes it to grow to, to grow which 
Maybe it's just all this 90s nostalgia, but it reminds me way too much of Power Rangers. The story, it works. It's straightforward. It has, it, it gives you enough fun so you're never bored. So, let's move on to the characters here. For Tom Baker's first outing, I gotta say, he pretty much seemed to get stuck into the role instantly. Using his, his comedic skills, which I don't know if those are the reasons. I, I didn't do too much research into his uh, career beforehand on this, so got nothing for you. But instantly, you can see it. Me and a buddy of mine, Jay Nova, who sadly couldn't do this review with me. Shout out, buddy. We, we watched this together over the internet and we're riffing it, and we learned one incredible thing about him. It's not that the guy is unriffable, it's just that you don't want to riff him because you're too busy paying attention to him. Every, he steals every moment he's on screen, and he's, and it makes perfect sense that you, they would cast him, and it even makes more sense that he would have seven year run, which is still the longest to date. He just acts so alien, and that's why he's so good in the role. He's, you he honestly would think an alien would kind of act like him, and that's what makes it perfect. Oldest supporting characters, the Brigadier, the Brigadier Harry and Sarah can all be grouped up as simple. They're just trying to figure out what's going on on all fronts. What's with this robot? What's with the thing? What's with the think tank? They're all just trying to unmask this while the Doctor is well clowning around and getting used to his brand new face, and it'll probably be the longest one he has. That is if you, that is if you count his lifespan to the number of stories. If so, then technically the eighth Doctor's lasted longer than any of them. But the villains are, well, like I said earlier, extremely generic. They're, of course, this was, you know, this was a lot closer to after World War II, so you do get this su slight suspicion that they're just an, out an anagram for Nazis, and you know, I don't blame that, they come off it very well. And plus, they're led by the most cold-hearted bitch I've ever met since about last week after I got turned down at a stag party. God damn it. Sorry, personal moment leaked through. So, there's not much. They have no dimension. They're just angry people who are angry. And the doctor who created the robot, um, I don't know. He sells it. He plays that deluded little old, he plays that deluded old man scientist real well as the hair and the glasses to sell it, of course. And, to be fair, you never hate him. You, I don't know if you, I don't know if I can say I felt sympathy for him, but I honestly found him watchable, too. And let's move on to what I didn't really, I wasn't, I'm not even still sure if it counts as a character analyzation, but the robot. I think his idea, I think the idea of him, backtrack, sorry. I think the idea about him is very simple. Just a robot who, you know, can who who's who has an ever-growing intelligence, and he basically is slowly become human. In fact, he's even made of, and yes, I know how preposterous this sounds, a living metal, which of course makes absolutely no goddamn sense, but it helps the plot and it gives them a really groupy excuse to do horrible seventies. Uh, green screen effect where the robot is carrying Sarah Jane, but it obviously looks like a Barbie. So, we're just gonna have to let it slide, because otherwise we wouldn't have a giant robot to crappily make. Eh. For any reason. The thing about it is, and this just may be me, but you do start feeling a little bad for this, only because the people who are making it destroy things are evil assholes. So, th that's something that got me. I don't know if you'll get the same mileage out of it. If anything, you'll probably think it's just a walking coffee maker. And it has a weird Photoshop effect for eyesight. So, again, mileage may vary on that front. Robot's real fun. I honestly recommend checking it out. It's one of the better post-regeneration stories from the classic era. And trust me, I'm going to cover 
which is what's considered the worst one tomor tomorrow, but that will be the exact next video. But as of tomorrow, trust me, you'll, you'll see. That's it for the review. See you guys in the next video.